Hello, this is Matt from the OpenQRM team. We just released the 402 version of OpenQRM which comes with instant cloud computing, so this is what the video is all about. Here a quick introduction to my environment. I quickly set up an, a fresh OpenQRM server and uh, brought up uh, four additional virtual machines. Two of them are KVM machines, two of them are VMware server uh, virtual machines which are uh, hosted on a remote uh, VMware server in the same network. So I integrated the VMware server and then I could start the uh, uh, virtual machines on it. Here yeah, a quick overview about my virtual machines. Um, on top left, top right the two KVM machines and on the bottom uh, the two VMware server systems. So now I'm pointing my browser to the external provisioning portal, the cloud portal provided by the cloud plugin and uh, register myself as a new user. So I give a username, a password and uh, the usual other parameters. And What happened then? Uh, the cloud portal will send me a mail uh, so I can activate my uh, user account on the portal uh, after I got this mail. So he said uh, he sent the mail. Now I go to my mailbox using MUD, of course. <laughs> so here's the mail and the link for uh, activating my account on the cloud. So I copy paste the link into my browser and snap my account is activated. So now I can uh, directly log into the uh, new to the cloud as a new user. So I give my username and my password, and here I am. So what I want to do is directly request some uh, systems from uh, my OpenQRM cloud. So I go to uh, cloud requests and uh, here say I need it from now. I need it up to this date, I want this server image, this kernel, select uh, kernel and image. I select the resource type, which means uh, which type of machine I want to have. Can be a virtual machine or can be a physical machine, can be a virtual machine from a uh, different types, so this is what I select here. And it should be high value. Automatically, OpenQRM will care if, uh, if it, this appliance got deployed. Oh, what is here? my request didn't cut through. I, I didn't have any cloud units left. Cloud units are uh, basically the billing mechanism uh, mechanism in uh, the OpenQRM cloud and uh, I would need to ha buy some units for uh, on the cloud from the system administrator. Luckily I'm myself the system administrator of the server so I can uh, assign myself some uh, units to, to spend on the cloud now. So that's what I did, a thousand units and now I can uh, again request my system from now. I needed a few days. I want this kernel. I know I want Debian and a Debian image. I want a KVM uh, virtual machine. And it should be have two network cards and it should be high level. Okay, here we go. So uh, this is a request from an external user and what I'm now seeing uh, inside OpenQRM as the system administrator is uh, just the, the new request from the user. Uh, basically select it and uh, approve it or I can also deny it but if I'm going to approve it the whole provisioning cycle will start completely automatically so I just approved it now and we will see what happens to our virtual machines now. So we'll give it a, a few seconds and we should see that the uh, uh, system is going to deploy it automatically. So by the way, I got some some other mails. My account is activated. My uh, uh, can log in. I can log in with the password and username. Oh, we see on the uh, top left the uh, KVM machine. The first KVM machine just rebooted uh, for uh, provisioning my request. So let's see when it, uh, until it's fully up and running. So this is what I'm seeing inside the, uh, my cloud portal. But I wanna, I wanna have another one. I wanna have another machine. So I go to create a new, uh, create a new cloud request again. And this time I want a Ubuntu, a Ubuntu server image, and it should be a VMware server host. 
So this is what we have here, the second request. Inside OpenQM, the system administrator got the new request. By the way, we can also set the um, cloud portal to auto-provisioning, so that the system administrator does not have to approve every request. But, by the way, Now here we see uh, on the bottom right the VMware machine is going to start. Uh, the top left the KVM machine is ready now. I can uh, got a mail with uh, an IP address and a root password, so I'm gonna log in now. Putty, SSH client. So just copy and paste the password. Here we go. And the password. So, we are logged into our computer, which we just requested from the OpenQRM cloud. Okay, let's see what the second system is doing. This is coming up and deploying, uh, so it should be ready in a few minutes. Inside OpenQRM, I can see, for example, I can manage my own appliances, which are currently two. So, uh, let's see, let's uh, pick the first one and reboot it. I can restart as a user, as a cloud user, I can restart my own appliances via the cloud portal. So you see the KVM machine on the top left is uh, rebooting and just uh, got the same server image as I requested before. So meanwhile my virtual machines are rebooting, the other one is rebooting because of my request and the other is uh, gonna uh, be deployed for my second request. I would like to tell you some uh, more about new features in OpenQRM 4.2. Uh, one is we uh, integrated support for VMware Server ESX as additional resource pro virtual resource provider for OpenQRM. Uh, of course, also for the cloud. And uh, the second is second milestone is uh, we also uh, integrated with Puppet uh, the configuration automated configuration management, so we can uh, now assign. Uh, appliances uh, to different application classes, for example, and uh, provide pre predefined, pre configured uh, systems uh, for the users. So, this is actually the Puppet plugin, is uh, what you see as uh, starting in blue on the virtual machines right now. So, I got the mail, uh, my second request is gonna is finally fully deployed, and I'm gonna log into this uh, second system also. Here, SSH password. Yes, root. Oh, I mistyped the password. So uh, let's use copy, copy and paste. Here we go. So we are locked in to our second requested system. Oh, we don't need it anymore. So what I can also do as a user when I don't need my machines anymore, I simply set them to uh, deprovisioning and they will be automatically uh, rebooted and freed up um, for new requests in the cloud. Well, this is what is going to happen in, in uh, a few seconds here. So many thanks for your attention. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Uh, have a great day.